Hot pipe and tea. <laughs> yes, it is indeed with Danny Canada and yes. yours truly, Miss Quad. Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. And as I stated before, it is now time to get in everybody else's business. Oh, I just love in <laughs> people's business. You know I'm nosy. Oh my God, listen, like I don't always go on Instagram like every mm -hmm. day, but recently, like I've been living on the ground. There's a lot to see. There's a lot what to scroll through. What is happening with Megan The Stallion and Carl <sighs> okay. Crawford? So I love Megan The Stallion. Yeah, huge Megan The Stallion fan. They go so. free, girl. <laughs> So Megan Thee Stallion, she has a deal with Carl Crawford. This is Evelyn Lozada's baby daddy. And Why we gotta throw Evelyn's name in? Y'all gotta stop this. <laughs> and she stop. actually said that, like, don't, don't, don't she, put me in. We got a couple of other baby mamas. Just, just for reference. Don't, no, we don't. We, Carl. Let's just say Carl, because we don't have to throw Evelyn in there. Now, okay. what happened with Carl Crawford and the people? Uh, okay, so he has his label, 1501 Certified Entertainment in Houston. Megan signed to him originally, right? Mm -hmm. And then later on, she went and got a management deal with Rock Nation. Yes, she did. So, Carl wasn't exactly happy about that, but we thought it was over. And then Megan came out and actually said that Carl is blocking her from releasing new music, and she filed a restraining order so that she can release her music on time. Carl is saying that is absolutely not true. The, sh the wait a minute, the restraining order covers music too. Girl, <laughs> I thought it just covered the person. That's what I thought too. But apparently, Megan is saying that she had billions of streams. She actually made seven million dollars. She said she only made fifteen k. That's what she's been paid. Carl said that's not true. He said that she actually owes him two million dollars, and that fame is getting to her head. So it's getting very, very messy. Uh, Megan's best friend Kelsey Nicole actually jumped in and said when she signed that contract, she didn't really understand what was mm -hmm. going on. You know, she was young at the time. So, so now it's just this all blowing up. This is one of the up. reasons why people have to have very informative attorneys. You do. It is pertinent, guys, you when you're getting lawyers. into these contracts. Yes, seriously, because the deal is. You don't want to find yourself on the bottom end of exactly. what you, of your talents. Exactly. This is she's very talented. Very talented. And she has earned every dollar that she's worked mm -hmm. for. And it's a shame if she only got fifteen. She said she only made fifteen thousand. Well, how's she paying for all those expensive clothes? Girl, I don't know. I don't know, but that's why Carl is like, something in the water isn't clean. But Megan mm. is still planning to release music this Friday. I, so. I, I, I'm ready for her new music, I for sure. I am too. Absolutely. I'm a big fan, so we'll see Absolutely. what happens I'm in full support of uh, the artist and, and the talent, and I think a lot of times people get looked over and mistreated. Absolutely. But have a good attorney and get the people up off of you, honey. All right. All right. Speaking of somebody who needs to get somebody up off of them, Drake and his baby mama, his baby mama is on his <sighs> head, honey. What is now, happened? You know what, Drake, Drake earned this. So Drake actually has a new song, and in it he has this lyric, and he said, It's a fluke. Baby mama fluke, but I love her anyway. Love her for who she is. So mm. people are saying, well, now why would you say that? So his baby mama is Sophie Brousseau. She's the mother of his son, Adonis. Mm -hmm. And people that's are baby saying, mama? that's the baby mama. Would that change? <laughs> Quad. And people are saying, that you did not have to say that about this lady. So, now I remember when the chin, pictures chin, chin by the hair on my <laughs> I remember chin, chin, chin. when the pictures of them came out and people were like, Well, what's going on here? And it did seem like they just kinda hooked up and then she got pregnant and they had the baby, but he didn't have to disrespect her on a song. But people are also saying that a fluke could be a positive thing. It's just a surprise. But I no, pretty much No, but think, the, but see this is one of the reasons why men need to stop dating without an end goal. Okay now. You understand what I'm trying date to tell you? Attention. Exactly. But but you was dating without an end goal, and now you got the girl pregnant, and now you're saying she's a fluke. You can't really say that. Are you a fluke? And I love Drake. I'm just exactly. simply saying. But now, come on. Come on, Drake. Y you did it yourself. Your, your daddy from where I'm from. <laughs> I'm just saying. All right, let's exactly. talk Ray J and Princess. Why did they have to sit down and hash it all out in front of the world? Okay. I don't. Uh, okay, so Ray J and Princess. It was a tough Princess. conversation, too. It is a really tough conversation. So they're on the Zeus Network, and they are hashing out their differences. And the whole thing with this is they're saying there's no therapist, there's no producer. It's just literally Princess and Ray J and they're talking. So if you can remember, Princess alleged that Ray J abandoned her in Las she, Vegas yeah. while she was pregnant. Yeah. And they had this big blow up and they were saying that they weren't gonna be together, then they seemingly reconciled, but clearly they still have some differences to work out. Mm. So they will be on the Zeus Network on March 15th if you wanna watch out and tune in. And Princess said this is the only way Ray J will talk to her, if they sit down in front of cameras and they hash it out. But so. they are still married. They are, and they just had a baby, they just had a son. Where do we see this relationship in the future? I don't, you know, it's just been so tumultuous. I don't know. Even before they got married, they had issues. So I don't, I don't know. I hope they work it out. I, 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 listen, listen, I, I, and, and coming from a reality star, yeah. I, 
I got to tell you that hashing things out in front of the camera is probably not the best way of work. handling things. That's just me. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I've lived it. I've been through it. Yeah. But I, I don't know if I even did the right thing. Right. You understand what I'm saying? And that's real. With that being said, let's talk about Kenya Moore and Mark Daly. <gasps> another another marriage playing out in front of the camera. So Kenya Moore and Mark Daly were on Real Housewives on this most recent episode. And they were hosting a charity event for the Black Man Lab. It is mm -hmm. a positive charity organization here in Atlanta. And during the event, Mark was just very nasty to Kenya. He didn't thank her Hi. for her help. He told someone he hated being married, and everyone knows that. He uh, didn't thank her. Like, it was just a mess. So this played out in front of cameras. And that very next day after the event is when they both filed for divorce. So people then said, well, Kenya, this is your karma because you've meddled in people's marriages. You've been so nasty and so rude. And NeNe Leakes actually said that as well, that, OK, well, this is what you get. Kenya clapped back at that and said, no, my karma is my daughter, Brooklyn Bailey. So she kind of had a snarky response to it, like, that's not what it is. I'm fine. You guys are just mad. So. What, what I, I, listen, I got to say this. I never think that it's appropriate for a man or a woman to be disrespectful to each other. Yeah. And I, I, to see what she's going through yeah. on camera really boils my blood. Right. I, I, I got to tell you. You yeah. know, whatever she's done in the past, whatever, yes, we're going to get to the last one, but I'm just saying. Whatever she's done is what she's done. Mm -hmm. But in terms of a marriage, yeah. It's just really messy, and it's really sad to see, yeah, honestly. it is. Yeah. All right, now, who's wh who's with who? It's common <laughs> with Tiffany Haddish, or is he with Solange? Girl, What's so, happening? Uh, if you, or, is he, or is he with me? Uh, <laughs> well, you know, the, the, street said, there too. The, the street said it was quad, but yeah. I don't I don't believe that. And the streets also said it was Solange. I don't Solange. believe it either. And I don't believe that either. So basically, Solange won this award. It was a Lena Horn Award, and Common was there, and he uh, spoke, and there were pictures taken of them together. Yeah. So people, of course, were like, oh! There's a thing. They're dating. It's just a picture, it's people. It's just a Come picture. On. Now, mind you, Common was linked to Tiffany Haddish. She was, uh, he was her date to her bat, mit bat mitzvah, mm -hmm. and he was her date to her birthday party. So people thought they had something going on. Salon saw the rumors, took to her Insta story, and posted that viral meme that said, why you always lying? Why you always lying? Mm, oh my God. <laughs> Stop <laughs> uh, 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 lying. <laughs> so that was it. Danny, it's always a pleasure Good to have to you here, too. girl. It's always a sip of a little hot pipe and tea. <laughs> and for more stories such as this one, you can go to Boss Up on Instagram. And